Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 3 101 Dalmatians Challenge with the Sims 3 pets and all other Sims 3 expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content. And I was just popping over to see what on earth Perdita was up to and I managed to catch her in this absolutely glorious pose. Look at her face. It is full of joy. Oh my gosh, look at those ears. Oh my goodness. Well, this is actually quite the interesting look. Oh gosh. Oh look. I didn't realize it, but the little dog gnome actually has like a tiny little tennis ball in his mouth. That is so cute. Perdita, you are being an absolutely adorable silly dog, which is really nice to see because while the puppies are playing and we've got Turtle and Skittles, the two new puppies, playing around in the yard and having a grand old time, being I think puppy number 11 and 12 of our 101 Dalmatians challenge there's some drama going down on the inside of the house so I'm picking up right where we left off because things are just getting very very interesting it is actually Meredith's birthday so Meredith the second born in the family just grew up into a child she's having a great time she wants to like learn the writing skill take a class on writing which is really cute she's following in her mother's footsteps of being quite the bookworm but there's kind of some party crashers going on here we invited over little Tisha who is terrible Terry's friend, Tisha and Terry. Oh, that's so cute. It's like alliteration. They both begin with T. I love it. But we invited her over to his birthday party tonight and her parents came and they've been fighting with each other, like kissing and then screaming at each other. And then they were his, her dad, Chance, Chance Cagle, was actually even screaming at Trisha at, or Tisha at one point. And that is just totally not cool. So this is little Tisha. I gave her a teensy bit of a makeover. Um, she is an outdoor lover, I found out. I can't remember her other traits but she loves the outdoors so I think she and Terry are definitely going to get along and I think that Anita is actually really upset and she's kind of covering it up but she does not like these two because they have been screaming at their kid they've been fighting at a child's birthday party they came over uninvited on top of everything else so I kind of wanted to jump back in and just see where things go from here and it's already pretty interesting because Terry I think has a little crush on Alicia Tisha's mom because he keeps going over trying to ask her for a bedtime story he is exhausted so I need to send him to bed but I think what's going to happen is we are basically almost going to adopt Tisha here. Anita's mothering instincts have been activated. Little Tisha's even trying to help clean up all the birthday cake plates that they have gotten and I mean look at her. She just looks like a kid who has to deal with a lot in life. So Anita is going to let Terry start inviting her over every single day after school. That's my new goal with Tisha is to like bring her under Anita's mothering like care and we are going to have tons of sleepovers with her as soon as we get the option to so she spends as little time as possible with her parents so that is a goal and then over here a little Meredith other than having like the desire to learn the writing skill is also proving to be very fun because I had no idea that excitable sims had so many fun interactions so what she wants to do is come over here and she wants to announce like to her mom hey it's my birthday and that weird squeaky noise you just heard is Suas enjoying enjoying this little game Look at Tisha go! Is she really doing our dishes? Oh, she's so cool. I think we're blocking the dishwasher though, so she can't really help more than this. Alright, where on earth? Okay, good. So, Meredith is super happy. He's... What? Stop trying to listen to a bedtime story in a bed that's not yours by a lady you don't know. Say goodbye to Tisha, because I think we're just going to do that. So, let's come over here. Um, friendly, can we ask her to spend the night? <gasps> Maybe we can ask her to spend the night right now. Whoops. I don't think we have the option to yet. Because we're not close enough friends. So maybe get to know. Oh, and then Anita actually has the want to give a gift to Meredith. So I want to pick out something for little Meredith because she is wanting to be a writer. I think kids would have to use a computer, wouldn't they? So I think they'll get permission for her to use the computer. And Meredith, you're not going to be in the nursery anymore. Um, let's just see what Anita has like on her. Let's see. Give gift. Criticize lousy book. Encourage to do skills. Praise fantastic book. Give gift. Let's just see what we managed to have. Um, oh, maybe a book. Oh, we should get a kid's book. That would be a good idea. Do we have a book that could be a kid's book? Um... Understanding the power of print. Hmm. Why do vampires suck? We also have some wildflowers. Um, I think we'll need, we'll get her a kid's book. We'll go out tomorrow and we'll purchase a kid's book for her. So these two are really super duper close right now. Meredith, are you wide awake? Oh, she's so happy because she's stuffed from overeating. 
<laughs> or maybe she's not super happy about that, but that's happening. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to have Meredith go to bed too. Sleep. This is not just Terry's bed. All right, sleep here. Terry, are you saying bye to your friend? Forcing him to say bye to his friend. Anita's is just wandering around. Let's see. I might have to go around and start telling the guests they can head home. Alicia, we're going to go ahead and ask everybody to leave. Like, thanks for coming over, but you guys all got to go. All right. Somebody just broke something. Darn it. I'll fix it in a little bit. Oh, these two are both like green. That's so cool. So Tisha's favorite color is kind of like lime green and Terry's is dark green. That is awesome. Well, you guys have a great night. All right. Well, I'm glad that ended the way it did. I just really wanted to make sure that we kept an eye on Tisha and everybody else because I don't like how her parents treat her. And I think Anita is going to be 100% in mothering mode. And there go all the guests. Bye, Suas and her galaxy space car. That is so cool. Um, where did, where did Roger go? Roger, where on earth are you? He's like, I want to snuggle my baby girl. What are you doing awake? You didn't even get it. What is this? Join the business career? I think, uh, Roger, that's not part of the challenge. Nobody, oh, somebody broke. I see. You know what? Let's come over here. We're going to have, relax. We're actually going to have Roger and Anita sit down and relax together. They're starting to want to have another kid already. And Anita does want to have five kids in the end. So we might get them started on the next one. When does little Andrea, who needs some attention, grow up? Two more days. So now wouldn't be a bad time to start on another kid. And I think that Anita needs to, like, kind of take a moment to sort of complain. Let's see. Just kind of complain about let's cuddle and just get a chance to maybe chat on the bed, tell a ghost story. Let's see. Let's gossip a little bit while they cuddle and let them chat for a little while so they can bond and just kind of talk about how the birthday party went, how Tish is doing. Oh, Andrea needs some attention. All right, the kids are asleep in their bunk beds. Where is the nanny? She's trying to play with the pets. She's also going stir crazy. So I need to send the nanny out at some point. We're going to go ahead and change dirty diaper. Hang in there, little one. That's what the nanny is here for. Snuggle. Give a bottle. Don't heckle the baby. Where? How is that even an option? You be nice to the baby. You're the nanny. That's what That's what you're supposed to do. All right. You two chatting? I think they're chatting. Complain about dirty dishes. Complain about art. Let's ask about day. Let's see. Maybe share secret. And I'm going to have him try for a baby just to see if it'll take or not. All right, easy there. And Bridget, you might want to hurry up with taking care of everything so that you're not caught in here while they're trying for a baby. So there we go. These guys seem like they're doing okay. Let's check on the dogs. Dogs seem like they're doing okay. Everybody's kind of going to bed. Rolly, what are you up to? You need to wake up. We'll wake Rolly up and get him some food. So I've decided we will keep Thunder for a little bit longer. He wants to chase a raccoon and chew on a chew toy. Oh, and he wants to sniff Bridget. We'll do that one. Um, but I miss Patch a lot. I kind of wish we had kept Patch, but that's okay. Thunder, we might keep for a little bit because we're going to start training the dogs up. So not only are we going to be breeding the dogs, but I figure it'll be a great challenge. One of the rules of our challenge, if you look in the video description, you can see the rules that I made. I really expanded the 101 Dalmatians challenge tremendously. But one of the rules or the like bonuses you can get is if you train a dog up in multiple skills. So I'm thinking we're going to start training the dogs a little bit more, especially Perdita and Pongo, because the more skills they know, the more skills that their babies might innately be born with which is awesome and then we will start using them to collect things more often because Rolly he is really turning into like an excellent collector I'm so proud of him so we'll have him start looking for things and collecting things in just a little bit these two are still just chit chatting Andrea has been moved to another crib all right we're actually gonna have you clean these up oh gosh and there's spoiled food clean out bad food I'm just going to have her work on, like, cleaning the house. Oh, and Anita says, if I had to pick a superpower, I would want to be able to fly. Well, that is awesome. All right. And the kids are sleeping. It is spooky day, and I want them to go out and collect spooky day things. But it is also, like, Meredith's birthday. So things just kind of ended up like this. All right. Do we have any chimes? I'm listening. There's chimes! 
So watching Tisha get yelled at ironically had Anita feeling more motherly and wanting to have the next baby. So that's happening. All right. Are you two going to go to bed? You should. All right. Yep. Um. Oh, Penny. Daisy. Oh, some of the other dogs have been adopted. All right. Anita, you probably need to, like, come over here right now, ma'am. And then you can go to sleep. All right. Is there nothing else to clean? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna, I wish I could. You can't really get rid of the cake. So I'm just going to shove the cake in there. And I think that these guys are good. Oh, this one's clogged. Dang it. Yeah, I think these guys are pretty much good till the morning. So we'll have everybody over here be good. And we're going to swap over to the dogs now. Rolly wants to come over here. Let's see. Pongo, are you ready to get up and go hunting? You sure are. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Wake up and get some food. And I was actually thinking about it. And since one of the parts of the challenge is that Sims have to be, like, self-employed, they can't go to a job to earn money in this challenge. They have to kind of be, like, farm efficient or, like, just go make money with tips for music and things like that. I think it would be pretty cool to actually get the little farm stand set up once we start getting more things planted because we have like a whole area back here that we could actually turn into like a little farm area and I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, yay! Bridget's learning new household skills. I hope she's going to be... <gasps> a, dis a dispute erupted between Chance Kegel and Alicia Kegel in front of the store. And both sides were left unamused. Oh, man. They're still fighting. These two are terrible. The Kegels. Oh, my gosh. I want to bring Tisha into the family ASAP so that she has somewhere safe and she has somewhere stable that she can come and hang out. Poor Tisha. Oh, my goodness. Anita is going to be, like, so worried about this. All right. Let's get some toys out. Rolly is feeling good. Don't know where he's trying to go. He's backing up all funky donkey. Um, let's have him go ahead and sniff out a collectible. And then we might get his brother working on that too. So Thunder. Oh no, Thunder has fleas. Dang it. All right, we'll have to take care of Thunder's fleas in a little bit. Um, and then how are the puppies? Skittles and Turtle are doing well. So let's see, Thunder... Friendly and adventurous. So you know what? I think we need to give Thunder a little bit more a little bit more attention. I don't know. We should have kept Patch for breeding, but it's really early to work on breeding. Though speaking of which, in a couple more hours, we'll be able to get Perdita started on the next litter. Oh, man. Ah, oh, those kegels. I just don't know what to think about them. Pongo, how are you doing? He's off to get a toy. Who's breaking stuff? What the heck's going on in the house? Oh, that's fine. We're just, like, breaking everything. Sorry, Bridget. Good luck. All right. Well, I'm going to let everybody go ahead and sleep because it's going to be Meredith and Ter or Meredith's first day of school. And I'm going to see if we can get Terry to be able to bring... Oh, no, it's hailing. Terry to be able to bring... Oh, Rolly has just improved his hunting skill to level 9. You go, Rolly. Man, he might be our first dog with maxed out hunting skill. That would be really cool. Get inside. Get inside, little Skittles. You can do it. Why is Skittles entertained? Are you just like easygoing, Skittles? He's an adventurous genius. And he actually has like a little spot over his eye. So we might be keeping Skittles. I love the ear on Turtle though. And I love Turtle's name. And Turtle is also a hunter. Hmm. So this is kind of like the catch when you're trying to work with the, the puppies. Always trying to figure out like which one has the looks that you want to keep. Which one has the traits you want to keep. Meanwhile, Pongo's just having a grand old time over here. Playing, playing, playing. He wants to play with Thunder and Rolly and Cody, who's now gone. So we're going to have to leave that be. All right. I'm going to have him sniff out a collectible, too. Terry, you're going to wet the bed, buddy. Let's see if we can get him over here without waking his sister up. Yeah, he's on the bottom bunk, actually. Hurry, Terry, hurry. And then you can go back to sleep. Extreme sleep. Ooh, Rolly just found a gem. Sweet. And let's see what gem Rolly just discovered. And open up your inventory, my friend. Tiberium. Hmm. That doesn't seem like a bad one. He wants to go guard the pet bed for some reason. Go ahead and sniff out more collectibles, Rolly. You and your dad are on the hunt in the hail. All right. And these two should do pretty good. But all right, I'm going to follow them around and we'll see what they collect. And I will meet you guys in the morning when we're sending the kids off to school and starting to train up the puppies. <laughs>
<laughs> and here we go. Somebody looks very, very happy just sitting here with her little baby. So Anita is doing very well. She's just hanging out with little itty bitty baby Meredith, rocking in the rocking chair, which is something she wants to do. Rock with a baby in a rocking chair. Just sit back and let the chair do the work. Oh my goodness. So hopefully these two are feeling pretty darn relaxed because Anita just wakes up at the weirdest times. I like came in and she was just already wide awake hanging out with her baby. And meanwhile, outside the dogs are still sniffing and searching around for things. It's really fun actually watching all of them like do some treasure hunting. And Pongo has already found a third fragment of a diamond dog. Ooh, and Thunder just found something special too. <gasps> a mini skeleton. Good job, Thunder. That's the first time he's dug up something cool. Well, that is really fun. Oh, and Rolly found a rock. That's right. I need to check on what rock he found. Thunder, you go ahead. Let's see if you can sniff out one more collectible before it's time for you to eat. I don't want to run these guys into the ground. Don't pee there. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't want to run these guys into the ground, but they do have such a good time looking around. Oh, it's a gigantic space rock. Holy cow, Thunder. Or, or like, Rolly? It's worth 3,404 Simelonians. Oh my gosh. Well, we're going to put it out in the front yard for Sue Ass. Because I still think it would be funny if Roger got abducted. I've never had a Sim abducted in Sims 3. And I hear if you put out like a bunch of space rocks, it actually increases the like chance of that happening. If that's true, then please let me know because I would love to learn more about it. But look at this. We have like this gigantic space rock. You know what? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, and Pongo just found a gem. I think it's going to be a lot of fun as the generations of Dalmatians go by just to see all of the stuff they collect. So we're really, like I said, we're going to start making little like areas, little nooks and crannies throughout the farm that will kind of highlight the special treasures they've gathered up. Though we do need to figure out what the best way to start selling like all of the rocks are. Is it better to send them in to be cut or is it better... You know what, we'll send one in to be cut of um, maybe the septarian nodules, perhaps? I'm not sure if it's better to cut them or if it's better just to sell them raw. If it's better to like, oh my gosh, the supernovium. Rolly really finds, you know what, maybe we're just going to have to get, Rolly can probably be our breeder, actually. Because he does have the, um, he does have the fact that he's a boy going for him. So he can always woohoo with the younger dogs, like a young female, and have plenty of children. So we might do that instead because holy moly, he just has such luck. Maybe we'll name his first son Lucky or something. Oh, goodness. So I don't know if it's worth it to send it in to be cut or not. And I can't remember. So I'm going to give one to Roger and we'll have him handle that. Anita's busy being pregnant with the next child, which is so exciting. Pongo, what rock did you just find? It's a soul piece. Oh my gosh. The soul piece mineral is rumored to be to mystically cure many curses and spells a sim might find themselves under. We're like living on top of some sort of geological wonderland. This is so cool. This reminds me of like those um, big farms down in Arkansas where like they just kind of till up the ground and you can go and try to find diamonds. And sometimes people find diamonds that are worth a lot of money there. So my gosh. This is really cool. We're going to have Pongo go ahead and pee somewhere. And then I'm going to have him go and get another toy. Oh, can't get a toy from that one. Can't get a toy from that one. Where'd all the toys go? My gosh. We're going to get a toy from this one then. All right. All right, Andrea. Let's put you away. I really need another list of names for the babies. All right. And Anita, um, I guess I'm going to have her make some pancakes. So serve breakfast. She likes making fresh pancakes for the kids. Maybe waffles today. We'll do waffles today. Oh, Meredith! Meredith is upstairs talking like about her imaginary friend. She wants to meet a rebel. Meredith, you are really like, you're supposed to be shy and whatnot, but she's really excitable, I guess. That is so cool. So she's playing with Pat. She wants to talk about Pat too. That is just so neat. All right, let's go ahead, change outfit every day. You're probably trapping your brother in bed. Let's send her down here so she can talk with her mom while they eat breakfast. Terry, you need to wake up too. So I'm going to have Terry get up. Maybe shower until extremely clean. I could see him starting to put pranks everywhere too. Oh, oh no, dirty diaper, dirty baby diaper. Well, it's time for dad to wake up anyway. He can come over and he can take care of little Andrea. 
who he has quite the fondness for. Oh, yes, now he wants to play a game with his son and give Spotty a flea bath. Oh, but Spotty's no longer our dog. He just knows Spotty and knows that Spotty needs a flea bath. So it seems that another one of the dogs has been adopted. So there's Patch. <gasps> Patch has a mate named Sophie. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Patch. So you see, he went off to have a happy life. And then, let's see, like most of the other dogs are being adopted too, which is cool. So Cody has been adopted. Spotty has been adopted. Um, that's really neat. All right, let's go ahead. Terry and Meredith should have school pretty soon. Meredith, you should have school soon, yeah? She's off to read something. <laughs> She's like, I'm reading. Thunder just found a gem, which is really cool. It's his very first gem. What is it? It's a ruby. Not bad. That's actually a good one to test everything out on. So that one's only worth 33. He still needs... He. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I told you guys, Thunder found one third a fragment of a mini dinosaur skeleton as his very first find. So I really am going to go with the theory that we are just on top of like some sort of perfect gem mine for the dogs to dig up all the time. All right, you take care of your little baby. She just needs some attention. Little bottle, little snuggles. It's a good thing they love their babies. All right. What's the matter, Andrea? You should have a bottle in a second. Don't worry. All right. Everybody wants to give Spotty a flea bath. I know. I know, little one. Your dad's feeding you now. All right. Somebody's coming down to play in the leaves. Oh, she's coming out to be sniffed by Pongo. That's so interesting. Pongo's like, okay, here's the new one. She's been trapped inside the house until now, which is true. This is like the first time Meredith has ever gone outside of the house. Oh, gosh. Oh, and I can hear the puppies. Oh, and I can hear the little chickens. She wants to play with Pat again already. Oh, gosh. Let's do... Um, let's see. H ask if it is better to have loved and lost than ever have loved at all to the chickens. Let's have her come over and play with the chicks. Look at her. She's like, I gotta tell Pat all about it. Where's Terry going? Oh, he's off to play in the leaves. And now they're off to school. All right, you guys, time for school. Oh my gosh, Meredith, that's so cute. And today I need to bring Trisha home. So that's gonna be, whoa, that's gonna be another one of our goals is to bring little Trisha home from school so that she can come and like hang out with us instead. Anita, where the heck are you going in your clothes like that? Stop trying to fill the dog food bowls for a second. She's feeling a little nauseous and wants to improve her cooking skill. So let's have her come over and grab a plate. And then Roger's going to have to spend some of the day doing flea baths and training dogs. Oh my gosh! Tisha is having a party. Is she going to grow up into a teenager? No, Tisha. We were, we were going to adopt you. We were going to like bring you under our wing. I hope that's not a birthday party. Hmm. All right. Grab a plate. It's very nice quality waffles. Thank goodness. Thunder. Thunder still has fleas. Going to have to take care of him. Let's go ahead, get him over here, eat from bowl. Who's getting a phone call? Huh. Is that Sue S? Roger, is that you? Call pet, smartphone. Anita, is that you? Huh. Oh, I forgot Anita has her, her laptop too. All right, well, we'll work on that. What does she want to do? Brush Thunder. That's so interesting how they're getting into their dogs. <laughs> Whose phone? Oh, it's you. Man, the phones drive me nuts when they do that too. All right, you wake up. Answer your phone so it'll stop making all that noise. And the kids are up to school. Congratulations. I'm going to have her like talk to friends so that she can get to know some friends. And I'm going to have him. I think he already did. Did he do his homework? Yes, he did his homework. So I'm going to have him talk to his friends too. And we're going to jump over. She's like, I'm near my, my husband. Very attractive company. And I'm going to let Anita. Anita, you need to like focus on everything. Anita, go ahead. I'm going to let you take a nap. A little power nap. Because you're not feeling well. Roger, come over here. Clean up. And we'll have him get ready for the day as well. Then go ahead, change outfit into your everyday clothes. Then come over and start repairing. No, don't call a repair technician trying to cop out on this. Start repairing everything. So, hmm. So far, so good. Oh, and it's time to get Perdita pregnant again. I just remembered. 
All right, Perdita, let's go ahead and let Perdita have a good time. Locate a collectible, locate a rock. She really wants to find a rock. So we're gonna let her try to locate a rock really quickly. Meredith is having a good first day at school. Wonderful. Look at that little sniffy nose. Look at that little sniffy nose. I'm gonna let Perdita, woo, there we go. Oh, here's a rock. Perfect. Let's go dig up that rock close by. So we're gonna let Perdita go locate a nice cool rock for herself. You, stop trying to fill up all the dog food if you guys are having those many issues. Come over here and eat. There we go. How's Pongo doing? Doing pretty good. He wants to go chase a ball. We're going to have him come out, sniff out some collectibles. Because I'm really excited because he's almost to level 10. Rolly's playing with his brother. Dang it, Rolly. Now you have fleas too. <laughs> no, that's three animals with fleas. Do I see three with fleas? <gasps> One, two... Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I've got like flea infestations are what are knocking back my points the most. It's terrible. All right, you're going to go ahead and sniff on a collectible. And you, sir, are going to go eat. Chew on something and eat. Let's get your destruction out. Come over here, eat from food bowl. Come over here and chew on this. And then we'll give them flea baths in just a second. Perdita just found something interesting and I bet it wasn't a rock. I wanted to try to fulfill a few more of her. Oh, there's a rock. Like right here. <laughs> but it didn't let her dig it up. It let her dig up like some of the trash. Well darn, there's like a whole rock just sitting right there. Locate collectible, locate rock. All right, let's try again. Cause she really wants to find a rock and I wanna give her a chance to kind of have fun, play with some of the other pets before we get her pregnant with the next litter again. Cause Perdita, you deserve a good life. You really do. Pat would like to come out and play. Maybe Meredith should set Pat on the ground to check things out. Oh gosh, and Roger's improving his handiness skills. Oh boy. Oh me oh my. All right. Roger, there you go, got that fixed. Now we need to send him in here to repair the shower. All right, Perdita. Hang in there, Perdita. I know I need to stay with you. Locate collectible, locate rock, because that's really what she wants. I need to make sure, I think we have to stay with her for just a second. And then she sniffs, 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 comes up, and let's have her come over here and dig that one up. Perdita has gained the hunter trait. She will now choose to hunt more often and will learn how to hunt quicker than before. Cool, I didn't know she could get like a whole new trait. Awesome. Does, I'm pretty sure the others must have that by now. Not yet. And yep, Pongo already has it. And he wants to sniff Meredith and bark at Turtle. Okay, that's fine, Pongo. We can totally take care of that. All right, Roger repaired the shower already. So, <laughs> Bridget, if you're done. Oh, Bridget is feeling a little bit housebound. Um, let's send Bridget out to do a little bit of shopping at the grocery store and the bookstore really quickly. Grocery store, maybe shop for some groceries. Um, bookstore, shop for some books. And Roger, let's go ahead and we're going to have him bathe the dogs really quickly. Where is Thunder? Chewing on something over here. Where is Rolly? Sniffing out a collectible. Thunder, we're going to stop you chewing on things. Come over here with Roger. And give a flea bath. There we go. Oh, Tisha had a good party. So I'm glad she was able to throw a party, but not glad because it's during like school hours. So I'm a little bit worried about that. All right, so we're going to go ahead... And visit visit China is what Roger wants to do. Oh, gosh. All right. Nanny finally gets a day out, so she's not going to be so stir-crazy anymore. Thunder is about to get bathed, so he won't have fleas. Rolly's sniffing out a collectible. Perdita is sniffing out a collectible. Pongo is sniffing out a collectible. <laughs> so everybody's busy. Anita is taking a nap. Good, good, good. Terry is apparently miserable at school because he didn't eat breakfast. Sorry, Terry. The writing club. Some of your classmates are getting ready to form a creative writing club uh, and ask if you'd like to join. Hmm. Hmm. I think he would because it's a great way to bond with his mom. So we'll go ahead and improve his writing skills so both the kids can work on improving their writing skills tonight. Perdita just found something special. Oh, she found a rock? Thank goodness. Yay, Perdita! It's another large space rock. It's not a huge space rock, but it's a large one. Good, so we'll send her on home and we'll have her and Pongo be able to potentially like have a have a little bit of a have a little bit of a get together. I'm gonna I wanna play with Skittles soon too. Alright, there we go. So let's see. Skill sheet music, childhood development. Hmm. <sighs> Are these like books just for kids to read? 
Hmm. Don't stay within the lines. Oh, the destination you'll briefly visit. We'll grab a couple of those and give them to our new little bookworm to read and see how that goes. And I'm just going to leave Bridget alone. She can have like the afternoon off, I guess. All right, let's go ahead, close that for now. Perdita's on her way home. And to finish off the day, I want to, there's another large space rock, fantastic. Look at that, so cool. To finish off the day, I definitely want Perdita to be able to play with another pet the way she wants to. Wow, that's actually all she wants to do is just play with another pet. Where's Pongo? Pongo is still sniffing out a collectible. He might be onto something good, I don't want to interrupt him. Uh, Rolly is over here, but I don't want him to give her fleas. All right, Pongo, hurry up. There we go. Rolly just found something special. All right, Rolly, what'd you find? Let's see. Fragment of a diamond dog? Oh, he's being sniffed by his mom anyway. Oh, and he wants a flea bath. <laughs> and he wants to eat the food. Sniff Meredith, chase Bridget, sniff Skittles. That's adorable. All right. There we go. Thunder is now flea free. So I'm going to send him off to go work on chewing on something. And let's grab Rolly. Pongo just found some metal. Rolly, you're going to come over and you're going to get a flea bath now. All right. Flea bath, Rolly. Don't sniff your son right now. He's covered in fleas. Come over here, Pongo. You come over here. And we're going to actually have try for baby. An attempt to have more puppies. There we go. And Anita's going to run around filling up all the food. So Anita is now pregnant. We're going to have Perdita become pregnant. Um, where? No, where's Rolly going? Excuse me, Rolly. That's not the way things are going to be. Oh, I guess he's really hungry. And we're going to try to start inviting inviting Tisha over a lot more. Because I really want to take care of Tisha. I, I don't like that she had a party during school. I just feel like she is not well taken care of. Flea bath for Rolly. Flea bath for Rolly. <laughs> it looks like Roger's drenched from the flea bath he gave Thunder. Thunder's happy. Pongo, what did you find? Did he find that soul piece? He must have found another one of the carbon steels because it said he found a metal. So we'll start selling some of those. Oh, see Jared Kegel. So there's another Kegel child and he was seen out and about during school hours and his sister was throwing a party. I really don't like the Kegels. We're going to try to bring them like under our, our wings because those puppies, those puppies, those kids who I guess are like puppies in their own way deserve better. All right. And speaking of puppies, dun, 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 dun. how are things going here? And there we go. <laughs> Another litter of puppies on the way. So there we go, you guys. It's been a pretty busy day. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm really thinking one of my favorite things about working with the dogs is going to be seeing what random things they bring back to us. So I'm going to start like setting up areas that we can kind of put some of their best finds into corners, figuring out if it's better to like get them carved or melted down or if it's just better to sell them raw. And we'll just have to see what they find. It'll be really fun to get some points to replace the points I've lost from having flea infestations. <laughs> Plus, Anita is pregnant with their second child, or their third, fourth, <laughs> fourth child. <laughs> she's pregnant with their fourth child, reading her books, having a good time. I think she's into the swing of things as a parent now. Andrea will grow up in a couple days. Meredith has the wonderful Pat, who we might put down and let become her friend Aaron. I need to rename Pat to be Aaron. A little girl or boy, we'll have to see. Aaron's a good name that could go either way. And I want Roger to be able to really start becoming better friends with Sue Ass so that we can sell more of the dogs to her as well. So that's going to be our goal. I'm really enjoying it. All right. We're going to talk to Rolly. See, Terry, get on the honor roll. Yay. And Roger's showing that he also loves his son and not just his daughters, which is fantastic. So I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. I hope you're having a wonderful time and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.